DJ Mello, 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 Mello. I made it, I made it, I made it. It's high 97. Oh, it's not good, DJ. We have to change all. This guy shows up and he changes my whole entire show around. Get me some beats ready. Uh. <laughs> look, yeah. who, look who met uh-huh. me at work today. They call me H. Uh huh. <laughs> so I'm sitting in the back office preparing for my show. Yeah. Which meant, you know, making some phone calls and whatever. Yo. And your man Holmes is walking around the building, um, peeking in people's offices. <laughs> I think it's some, it's good to do that sometimes. You know, just stop. Hey, E bro. Look who I, E bro. Enough. Look who I found. What's up? What up, homie? What a nice surprise. Well, you guys got tans. You guys don't work anymore. Yeah. No, we work. Tan. Is we that work. We work a little bit. We work. That's J- right. J- you can have a tan. I don't feel like that. What are you doing? I was actually going to work. <laughs> Where? And I was like, man, me in my office, Rockaway. You still go to the office every day? Yeah, well, not every day when I can. Really? Yeah, Rock Nation, uh, Rockaway offices. What time and do you I, show up at the office? Around this time, sometimes. Around three-ish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so, open the place up. <laughs> so, yeah, oh, hold on, hold on. Entertain the people for one second. I just want to tweet that you're here and get full... Well, um, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to just story. keep talking. Tell you can story. just, like, ignore me. I'll talk to you. No, I'm so here with driving. you. I just didn't want you to think I was being rude. Okay. I'm on my Blackberry. Go ahead. I'm just tweeting. So I was driving head. up the block. I'm going to my office. I was like, man, I haven't been there in a minute. And I said, I'll walk in. But I figured they was going to give me a problem at the door downstairs. Did they? No. The guy saw me was like, go ahead. <laughs> Shut I don't up. know if I got him in trouble, but... Wait, wait. No ID, no... Um... Oh, no. No problem. He just still, looked at me still... and he hit me with the head nod. He was like... Mm-hmm. Still hope 97, man. Huh? So you yeah. just walk in, yeah. security let you yeah. right up. No problem. He didn't even f- get on the phone, call anybody, nothing. Nobody called me. Usually I'd get a like, hi, such and such rapper or such and no, such No, he artist. didn't even double take. He even had a double take. He looked up, he was like, hmm. And then nobody stopped you at the front, uh, the, up here on the front thing either. No, what just happened come was... come right on in, ho. I was knocking on that, that little door that they send the, um, you know, I've been here a lot of times. No, so I, I knocked on the door where they send the mail through right there. <laughs> yeah. And uh, the kid, we... Uh, the kid that just had the red shirt on, he was walking by. He just opened the door and let me in. He the one told me where he was at. I was walking this way. He was at nine uh, inches sitting by Nikki's office. Nikki, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you knew where that was? No, he had to show me. He directed you. Yeah. What a so, great surprise. What a nice little surprise. Okay. So, hey, Jack. You, you ain't got time to put the claps. Where the claps at? Yeah, get cl- No, TJ's in training. Come I didn't on, see TJ, it. let me get some claps. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Now I'm here. Get the big claps. So, I got 15 minutes. I'm late for a meeting, but you know, this this feels right. It feels like this shit happened. I right miss now. you. I miss these little pop ups. You don't yeah. you don't do them very often anymore. I know, You man. changed, Jay. I know. Right, <laughs> Jay. <laughs> I should, I'm trying to get back. <laughs> Like I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to get grounded. It's tough. Hey, we're always here for it's you. It's tough. We are here for you. It's hard to stay grounded out there. Is it Sorry. really? Yes. What are the moments? Have you had any of those moments lately? Have you had to do anything specific to bring you back here to this, um, I don't know, No, nah, I'm just playing. I'm really, playing, just right? a really grounded person. Oh, my you gosh. Know. I saw you the other day on the uh, the Derek Jeter uh, 3000 yeah. HBO special. And, yeah. I, and I thought to myself. Well, he's a fa- like I've, I'm. Yeah, you, you're a I waited. Fan. I waited like forty five minutes. And just I'm in the me because I know you. I yeah. was like, wow, he's really like he's a fan. Yeah, I waited. I, st- I stayed there. I waited. You know, that's hot. Hung out. That was. I really wanted to tell him that. Congratulations, because for him, the way he did it, it was, was so amazing. No, I, I, t- there was a, t- I teared up. It's unbelievable. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be just a winner, like you know, a person is just a winner. It's supposed to happen for him like that, and I'm so happy for him that I had to see him and tell him that. Did you see the special? Uh, no, I actually saw the end just the other day. The part, I didn't see the whole the part you're in. I actually... Juan told me about it the day before, and I turned to HBO, and I just so happened it was right there. You should you should see it from the beginning. Yeah. It's a really just... I like the way he ended, the way he talked about his kids, and, you know... And the whole thing yeah. is just such a classy, yeah. just amazing... Shout out to... Uh, Derek Jeter. Jeter yes. 3000. 3000. Uh, Andre. <laughs> we don't have to change Andre's name. Anybody got his number? Let's call him. <laughs> Let's call him right now. Derek? No. No, Andre. Andre. Like, yo, I'm oh. fam. 
I think we could get Derek on the phone. Let's do that, too. I mean, that would be, how long is that? No, nah, like, I'm seriously 15 minutes. I'm like, Come late on, for eight man. minutes This is now. so foul of you. I have eight. so many questions, and See, this, we haven't had an interview it's in so long. It's foul of me. I, st- <laughs> I show up. I do it like, you know, I show up, you know what I'm saying? Come say hello. Yeah, I'm in you, the neighborhood. I need a little preparation time. And now it's time like, I'm foul. That's the problem, man. <laughs> do it all. Yeah, that's the problem. Right. I'm like, no, because... there's no police in you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always happy to see you. <laughs> I'm always happy okay. to see you. However, yeah. you know, come and she on. she has shades on, by the way. She's, I'm she, not trying to be Hollywood. It's I that know. I, know I have, wasn't, wasn't prepared for this. I have no makeup on. Man. Yeah. I also was battling a small migraine this morning. I got all I got watches and rings and You're chains fancy. on. I, was, I knew what I was doing. What kind of shirt is this here you it's have on? DR. Very nice. It's fresh. Thank you. And you're looking super slim. Yeah, I've been working out. What do you do? I, you know, running and boxing and fighting, you know, just in case I have to drag somebody down the street. <laughs> sometimes you have to do that sometimes, you know, just to remind them. Drag somebody down the street. Yeah, you know that kind of fighting, like you just, you know, grab them by the shoulders and just drag them down the street. Like, <laughs> that's, what you, that's what you think of in the, when you're in the gym? That's like your motivation? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> it works too. I'm gonna use that. I put in an extra hour behind that whole thing. Let me get my let me get my uh, Angie Martinez radio personality hat on for a second because I yeah, know- how, how you been it though? I'm good. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah. waiting for this throne thing. I'm, I'm waiting for See? it. See, to... yeah. Hey, you um, have an album like you did an album with yeah. Kanye. Come on, amazing I, album. Yes. By the way, yeah. I never in a million after the R. Kelly th- situation, I never in a million years thought that you would go down this road with another artist. Yeah. That was a tough one. <laughs> but it's almost like, uh, it's almost like, you know, anything in life. You can't let that situation affect you going forward. Mm. You know what I mean? Especially, you know, working with genius talent. Now, he is a genius talent. It's just that he has um, other other things on his mind. Right. Uh, R. Kelly. Yes. And Kanye. Kanye is just a genius talent. Did you, isn't there today? I got one of these little news things today. This is why I'm mad. I can't prepare for an interview, man. What, you, have, you have to give me time. We didn't yeah, we had, a, we had a fight or something. I heard that. You heard and Kanye that. had a fight, right? N- yeah. Allegedly. Yes. There's allegedly problems because of the creative differences and because he wants to spend a gazillion dollars. Yeah. And you're like, yo, chill I kind of want to spend a gazillion dollars. <laughs> I think they got it backwards, but it's all good. Really? Yeah. Why I, not? I would think you'd be the frugal of the pair. Well, you know, I made it, you know. <laughs> you got some pay for this thing? Yeah, I made it. I don't really, yeah, you know, I, I know that we're doing something right now. Right. When, you know, when I woke up to all that, I was like, oh, yeah, we must be really hot right now. It's, it's happening. August 8th, we're on iTunes and August 12th. We're on, we're on, but are you getting along? Else. Are you getting along? Because, I mean, Kanye's my t- brother. I would never, like, if there's no, a problem No, I know with that. I, no, you ask me a question. No, but go ahead. But you know what I mean. Like, is he... Do you get on each other's nerves? Or yes, what? we get on each other's nerves. Oh. That's, but that's part of, you know, pushing each other. We mm-hmm. push each other. You know, the people that have a problem with Kanye or myself are people that who are complacent and, like, you know, people don't like to be pushed. It's, it's like, annoying. It's a thing when people pushing you to be greater. Mm. And we push each other to be greater. So, of course, there are times where we're in the studio, we're yelling, but, you know, that, that's about it. I would never put my... I would never disrespect... Um, that man, I have so much respect for him. Mm. I put my hands on him. And if I did, it would be like in you the backyard, never, like a, you know, like, like a fire like brothers. And you would, never, you would never hear about it. You would never drag him down the street or. No, never. Never. No way. No way. <laughs> Just, not even close. Not even close. Yeah. Only a barbecue in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, a little barbecue, like, you know. So the two of you coming together to make this album. Yeah. Good Lord. What kind of pressure? Uh. I guess a bit after after we started it, but, you know, I don't look at it like that. Like, you know, when you make music, you make your music to try to, you know, you're against history, you're against what's current, and you're, you're against, your, you know, your past work. But as far as pressure of what it's going to sound like, you try not to really let that affect you. Yeah, but really? Yeah, really. But even to your fans, like, so we have a certain expectation. I think you have have, have a bit of arrogance to, to say that, you know, this is going to be good. So you and Kanye have any arrogance to tell you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you and Kanye? No way. No way. How did you, not, not how, did, how did you muster up enough arrogance yeah. between the two of you? 
Uh, we figured it out. We found a way. <laughs> you found a way to get it done. No, no really, because to be able to like we live to work, up to... We had to like, go to counseling and work on our self-esteem. Because the audacity <laughs> of the two of you to walk into a studio and think you could deliver an album that would be good enough for people to be happy with a Jay-Z Kanye yes. album. Yes, It takes, you know... Well, that's what, that's what we're in this music business for, or any business. We're in the business of challenging ourselves. If, if I, honestly, if I was complacent, I wouldn't be making albums. I, I mean, I have enough accolades to rest on, you know. You could just chill pretty much. Yeah. Do whatever. Yeah, but that's the sort of 